Hey, this is Jake Kumar, the Bass Blaster, and this is the Seafoam Top 5 of the Week. Not in bass fishing, but stories from the Bible about fish, fishing, and fishermen. Not going to hit number one yet. A couple disclaimers first. All right, first of all, I'm not having fun or making fun of anything about this at all. Far from it. I love Jesus. I love the Bible. I just love the stories in there about fish, fishing, and fishermen, and there's a bunch. Also, if you feel like I got anything wrong biblically, let me know. Number one. Fishers of men is probably the most known phrase about fishing in the Bible where Jesus tells Peter and his brother Andrew, hey, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. That's a really powerful phrase because Peter and Andrew literally left their nets and boats and everything and their lives and just followed Jesus. Now there's a few versions of this story in the Bible, but my favorite is the Luke 5 version because Jesus is in the boat in this version and he tells Peter to let down the nets to catch something after Jesus is done teaching from the boat, a crowd on the shore. And Peter's like, okay, but we fished all night and we didn't catch anything. And bear in mind, you know this guy is a fisherman. He knows where he's fishing, he knows what the conditions are, he knows if they're likely to catch anything or not, but he was obedient and he did what Jesus said and the nets were full to almost breaking. And right away, Peter knew who was in the boat with him. How awesome is that? Number two. Now, new believers, new Christians in Rome and maybe other places use the fish symbol and the letters of the uh, word for fish to mean Jesus. The fish symbol was originally called ichthys, which means fish in Greek. But the cool part is, the letters are also the initials of five Greek words that mean Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. Apparently, using that symbol, they were telling other Christians, drawing it on rocks or on walls or in the dirt, that there were, they were Christians too and other Christians were around. Now we use that fish symbol now, the Jesus fish, maybe not remembering that these people who used it were persecuted and killed just for believing in Jesus. Amazing people, man, and I'm grateful for them. And it's pretty cool that one way people used to spell the name Jesus was with fish. Number three. Just a short one, but hey, sometimes I like to look up the original Hebrew or Greek because the English translation or translation of English sometimes isn't the best. I did it recently for the word fish. Check this out. That's right, the Hebrew word for fish is dog. Is that cool or what? I just loved it. Number four. Okay, you walk up to someone fishing on the bank or you idle past somebody on the water or whatever, and what's the first question you're probably gonna ask? Catching any? Well, to me, that's basically the question Jesus asked Peter and the other fishermen after his resurrection in John 21. Young men, haven't you caught anything? Not a thing. Throw your net out on the right side of the boat and you will catch some. All right, I love that because it's such a fisherman question and he knew that they didn't have any fish yet and he knew that they didn't know it was him asking. So he was just messing with his buds and they did it and they caught him again. Number five. Did you know that Peter fished for money and Jesus made him do it? Well, in Matthew 17, they needed money to pay the temple tax and here's what Jesus said to Peter about it but so that we may not offend them. Go to the lake and throw out your line. Take the first fish you catch, open its mouth, and you will find a four drachma coin. Did you know about that verse, tournament peeps? He's having some fun with it, and he knows his friend Peter will enjoy fishing for that coin instead of being told to find it under a rock or whatever. Now, people like to say that God has a sense of humor. Well, personally, in the Bible, I don't see anywhere that God the Father has a sense of humor, but from that set of verses and the other one I talked about, it, and probably so, a few others, Jesus certainly seems to have a sense of humor. So I guess God created him and us with it. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. All right, that's all I got for this week and this year. Thank you, Seafoam, for making these top fives possible. Go to BassBlaster.com or .rocks to sign up for the great Bass Blaster email blast. See you next week or year. God bless you.